Hi, we're Jay and Laura LaFoon, and we've got one simple question for you. Are you a busy couple? Or do <laughs> you know a busy couple? <laughs> Asked and answered, is it? <laughs> or do you know anyone who's not busy these days? It seems like life just keeps us going and going and going. And here's a, a saying that um, we're fond of. Satan doesn't want you bad. He wants you busy. Because he knows if you're busy, then, then two relationships are going to suffer. First of all, your relationship with the Lord. Second of all, your relationship with your spouse. So here's another question. Do you have trouble doing devotions? Together? Because we're so busy, sometimes that's the last thing that we think about doing, right? I mean, and especially whether it's together or part. I mean, we... We, we have trouble. We've always had trouble doing devotions, but partly because we don't necessarily like doing devotions together. We like... He likes to read certain stuff. I like to read certain stuff. We like to study different. I like to take notes. He just reads and remembers it all in his head. I don't have enough space up there to remember all that she's stuff got right plenty here. of space up there <laughs> trust me but you know what those two things together are you busy and do you have trouble doing devotions and and there's no there's no sin in saying that because we have trouble doing devotions and we've been married for 35 years and it, it ebbs and flows it comes and goes but we are super excited because we have partnered with broad street publishing to create a very simple devotional for busy couples because here's what we were hearing we do date nights all over the country. We do conferences in Michigan and all over the country. And we were hearing from our audience time and time again, couples were saying, you know what? We just don't have time. We don't have time to do devotions. And you know why people think that? Because they think it has to be some 30-minute some... long devotion where we have to sit staring each other eyeball to eyeball and do our devotions together. And then we have to pray and then we have to memorize scripture. We have a misconception of what we need to do in our devotions to help not only our relationship with the Lord, but our relationship with each other, which is why we did um, write the book, Celebrate Your Marriage, 365 Daily Devotions for Busy Couples. Now, it's really funny because, yes, this is a very small book, and on each page is a very short read. Um, this is less than two minutes a day for you and your spouse to sit down over a cup of coffee, to read it, contemplate it for a moment, and like that, you're doing two things that are very important. You're strengthening your relationship with the Lord and you're strengthening your relationship with your spouse. And when you've got those two relationships going in the right direction, guess what? Life becomes a lot easier. It doesn't become easy, it becomes easier. And you communicate better. You connect better on all aspects of your marriage when you're in tune with the Lord and when you're in tune with each other. So we created this book, be very simple, very easy, something you can do every day like clockwork. And some of you may be saying, Jay and Laura, I don't believe it's only going to take me two minutes. We'll turn your clock on because here we go. This one is called Recall Funny Moments. And the, the scripture for the day is Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your hearts, for it is the wellspring of life. Have you ever wondered what life would be like without emotions? In the passage above, Solomon reminds us to guard our hearts, for they are the wellspring of life. <clears throat> the emotions in our hearts drive, motivate, and prod us to interact with the world around us. That's why we're encouraged to guard our hearts. Life starts here. In families, we are also responsible to help guard the hearts of our spouse and our children. This principle played out with our good friends, Jean and Wendy, in their daily journey through married life. Jean's sense of humor is drier than unbuttered toast. That's a true story. And people don't always know if he's joking or not. Even though he always is. Exactly. Wendy is a kind, considerate woman who happens to be Gene's biggest fan. When he starts cracking jokes, Wendy splits her gut with laughter. Even when we can't tell if Gene is joking, the rest of us laugh along because Wendy's laughter is so contagious. So the scripture, the thought, and now here's the reflection. Laughter literally reaches deep within us and changes our hearts. Spend some time identifying the similarities and differences between your senses of humor. Now, Very that's easy big for differences. us. Because Jay's I'm is funny cheesy. and she's not. He's just cheesy. He's just cheesy dots. I am not. Cheesy, cheesy. dots. Cheesy jokes. <laughs> I was thinking of the fact that we got an Echo Dot for Christmas and he asks it for a different joke every right. day. Cheesy jokes. Right. Cheesy. So, I'm not cheesy. I'm funny. Laura, on the other hand, is sarcastic. That's her sense of humor. Sarcasm. Basically... You know, rip people down, rip people apart. That, that's what it means. We we learned that. That sarcasm is the same thing as ripping flesh. I'm funny. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. I don't rip your flesh. I'm no. just funny. So each day is going to be different. Some days it's going to be a, a, a very practical thing in your marriage, like a sense of humor. Other days it's going to focus you specifically on a scripture or on a scriptural principle. Every day is going to be different, but every day is going to help you and your spouse connect with the Lord and connect with each other in two minutes or less. And 
I hope you stopped your clocks because you'll find out that what we just did was probably a little more than two minutes, but that's because Jay was babbling on about me being sarcastic and I was babbling on about him being cheesy, but that's what the, the reflection me. asked us to do. And see, you know what else this just did? This caused us to have conversation. It causes you to have conversation Conflicting in your conversation, but conversation <laughs> it's nonetheless. It's still good. It causes you to have conversation, to talk to each other, and build this marriage relationship in two minutes a day. In two minutes a day. So make sure you pick up this book. Celebrate your marriage. 365 daily devotions for couples. You can nope. get it. For, for busy, busy couples. couples. <laughs> That's right. And uh, you can get it at Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Um, you can pick it up just about anywhere that you find books. And um, we know, we know for a fact that this will be a great starting point for you and your spouse to get on the same page with the Lord and the same page with each other in under two minutes a day. Celebrate your marriage, 365 daily devotions for busy couples. We hope you'll enjoy it.